Now, just because something is industry standard, does that necessarily make it better? Today, we're about to find out. All right, today we're talking tripods, and I know the main core of my audience are usually campers and overlanders who might not be running a YouTube channel or doing any kind of content creation. But before you guys click away, just because you're not creating content for social media, it doesn't mean that you're not capturing content for yourselves. And so I thought I'd just show you some of the gear that I use in hopes that maybe you might be able to use some of this stuff in your own adventures. Now I'm gonna say this, I have a love-hate relationship with tripods and I have owned them all. Everything from the cheapest ones that you get at Target, Walmart, Best Buy, all the way to the ones that go above $400 and I have never really found that one and perfect tripod that does everything I want it to do. And I'm not even sure if what I'm about to review today is that one and perfect tripod, but we'll see how it stands up. I said stand up. I'm doing dad jokes without even knowing it. Now these are the tripods I have been using for years. Note the brand name on them. They are considered industry standard. And I was kind of disappointed because Knowing who these guys are, I figured if we get these tripods, they're going to last me a really long time. And yet I've always somewhat had issues with them. This is the Be Free. And why I like the Be Free is that it's small, it's compact. The only downside that I didn't like about the Be Free is that because of the leg in the middle, you can't bring this all the way down to the ground. Sure, you can take all this and go as flat as you possibly can, but See, you have this leg here, but that's it. The lowest you can go is about, I don't know, this looks like about a foot. So if I really wanted like ground type shots, this is not going to work. And that's when I found the 190 Go. This has a feature that this one doesn't, which is you can go all the way flat to the ground, but these things to bring the leg up is such a pain in the butt to maneuver. Like from the very beginning, I've loosened this up as much as I could and it's, I still have all these issues with it. Now, what you do from here is you can press this little button at the bottom. This then comes up like this, slides in like this, and you can do this. So now I can go really low to the ground, but then just getting into this configuration becomes a pain to put back, see? Until you can get it in the right slot and get it all the way in. It wasn't very easy. And then trying to get these back, see they get stuck you kind of have to push and they tend to get stuck and this was my go-to i actually loved this thing despite all the quirks it had but then this happened and this has been a problem since the beginning with both of these tripods so you turn these in order to extend the tripod legs but if you see this one this one has a gap because something in there gets stuck. Something in there is getting... This is annoying and this has done this since the first day I bought this. At one point I'm turning and turning and it just came out completely. And the plastic piece that are, that's in there just completely broke off and I can't fix that on my own now. Super annoying. On top of that, this was giving me the issues also. There's resistance right there and I've had this issue with this tripod as well. Like I don't know what it is about Manfrotto legs, 
but Manfrotto legs have annoyed me from the get-go. And when you're doing run and gun, especially if you're on the trail and you want to get set up right away because the vehicles are coming through or you just need to get out there and capture something really awesome and you need your tripod to do that, having to fumble with legs is not something that I really want to be doing. In fact, on this table, I just found this little piece that usually goes inside the legs to hold it in place. And I have no idea which leg this one came out of. Now, in my search for the next travel tripod, I ran into a company called Ulanzi. And a ton of content creators have been doing a ton of reviews on these and were saying that they really, really like it. Half the cost of what it would be for like the more well-known branded tripods that are out there, but works and functions even better. So let's do a quick walkthrough of this thing. This is the Ulanzi and Photo Pro X Aircross F38 carbon fiber tripod. And if you can afford it, go carbon fiber. It's just much, much lighter and easier to carry. My B3 is in aluminum and you can tell the huge difference in weight between the two. Think about it like your rig. We load that thing up with so much that anywhere you can save weight, the better. And when you're carrying this on a backpack or if you're hiking, with all the other gear you already have, if you can go lighter, then even better. The B3 is a little bit taller, but the legs extend out to be about the same height. So as far as height is concerned, you're looking at a little bit shorter footprint with this, which might not also be a big deal to you, but when you're carrying it on a backpack, Sometimes I want something that's even shorter so I can stuff it in there without it sticking up from the back. Now, leg mechanism. I've shown you this already before. This is a twist lock type of thing. You have three that extend out like that. This only has one. You untwist this and the whole thing comes out like that then you lock it all together. So you only have one which makes it a little bit faster. You can feel it when you twist it. So one will lock and then the other one will loosen. So you kind of have to, see, I'm not sure. What is it with tripod legs that just, oh my God, annoy me so much. So I think what you have to do is you have to wait for the three clicks to unlock. You got one, two, three, and that extends it all the way. And then it just collapses. Try that again. Well, maybe I do like this. Now, speaking of the legs, these do flatten out just like my other tripods, but I found that this one was much easier to deploy. There's just these buttons here. You just press that and it automatically will open up very quickly on you. So you can do that all the way around and it makes it so much easier, especially if I need to deploy this quickly. As I mentioned, I want my tripods to be able to go as low to the ground as possible because sometimes I really want those very low shots. The Be Free tripod allows you to flatten the legs, but with the stem being in the way, the lowest you'll be able to go is about a foot off the ground. There's nothing you can do about that. The 190 Go tripod allows you to go all the way down to the ground, and with this mechanism, allows you to get the stem up and out of the way. The problem is it orients the stem this way, which means you're gonna have to mount your camera like this. And to my knowledge, there are no fluid heads that will pivot like that so you can still pan and tilt. So when I got the F38, I was like, oh, I have that stem. I won't be able to do anything about it if I wanted to go flat. It's basically the same way as the B3 where I'm gonna have to contend with that stem and I won't be able to go all the way down to the ground. And then I found this out. Right on the stem, there's actually something that you can unscrew like this. Once this comes out, I now have a flat tripod that goes all the way down to the ground, put my fluid head on there, and I am good. Now another great feature that this tripod has that my other tripods also have are these quarter inch threads here. This just allows you to mount other accessories, like if you wanna mount your monitor or mount a secondary camera or your phone or a GoPro, you can just take an arm like this. This is the basic arm that I have, and that'll just screw right into those threads. And now you can use this to mount your monitor or whatever else you might need mounted to your tripod. What's good about this one though versus the Manfrotto ones is they actually give you two. So you have one here, and then on the other side, you have one as well. So if you need to mount more than one thing, 
there's another one for another arm and then the third one is taken over for uh, for tightening the, the the stem of this thing now this tripod is set up as a video tripod and for some of you that don't know a good way to tell whether something is a photo tripod or a video tripod is not in the legs itself you can use pretty much any tripod for that it's the head that you attach to it which is why you want to get a tripod that doesn't already have a head built in it's flat like this so that you can buy different heads for the top this is what's called a fluid head and it's called a fluid head it's made for video because it allows you to pan left to right without missing a beat like it goes so smoothly fluidly so you can just kind of go from left to right and if you need to go up and down you can also tilt up and down very very smoothly photo tripods are not like that photo tripods are usually put on a ball like this and a ball head allows you to configure your camera pretty much in any angle any position that you want which is great if you're taking stills but it's not good if you're trying to pan left to right or go up and down because there's so much resistance on the ball if i were to try to tilt up and down with this thing see it's going to be jerky and so if you're going to try to do video using this going from left to right, you're gonna get a lot of jerky motions with that. Whereas a fluid head won't allow you to do that. It's very, very smooth. So you really have to determine which one you need. So you can use this for photo, right? Because I mean, it, it's just up and down, left to right, but you won't get some of the crazy angles that you could get with a photo tripod where you can pretty much position it anywhere you want. This really only can go left to right up and down which is why you don't normally see video tripods that can go vertical this i can go fully vertical when i'm doing photos but not good for video which brings me to my next point which is i love the tripod itself but i'm not sure i'm a fan of the video fluid head that it comes with i mean it's fine for what it is it works you can pan left to right very smoothly you can tilt up and down very smoothly and they also have a level here that will allow you to basically loosen this up and kind of just do some fine adjustments to make sure you're level and then tighten it back up again nowadays we're shooting a lot of vertical we do a lot of reels and we need to be able to go to a vertical mode now you can get an l bracket and attach this mount to that l bracket and then put your camera to that l bracket but again if I wanted to go vertical, that's just another step I have to take to configure my camera to be in vertical mode. So I'm sorry, Ulanzi, thank you guys so much for sending this over, but I don't know if I'm gonna rock with this head. Instead, what I'm gonna be mounting is this fluid head from Small Rig, and I absolutely love this thing. And why I like this one, which I think a lot of you will like, especially in this kind of social media age that we're in now, is that once I get the camera on here, there's a button right there and check this out. Put the camera on there, press that button and this will now go into vertical mode for you. So now I can shoot reels quickly. I can jump from regular shooting, shooting video and then I'm ready to go vertical with it. Just click it up like that and now I have a vertical mode and I could still pan and everything like that smoothly as if I was doing regular video work. And then I can tilt this and can go up and down very, very smoothly. So yeah, their ball head is just fine if this is all you're gonna do and you just need a fluid head for your camera. But I need the small rig fluid head because this one can do the things that this one cannot do. Then when it comes to the legs, the Be Free is fine, it's compact, it's lightweight. The problem is the legs do get stuck and I can't go all the way to the ground with this because of the stem that's in the middle. The 190 Go can go all the way down to the ground, but getting it to that configuration is horrible and it sucks and this is heavier. And on top of that, the legs are broken. The Ulanzi is the most lightest and it's the smallest. It can go all the way down to the ground. The leg mechanism is awesome. The only downside is I don't really like the head that it comes with, which means I have to replace it with this one. And that is why I have a love-hate relationship with tripods. One of them will excel at something, but will suck at something else. And then another tripod will be good at what the other one sucked at, but will suck at what the other one was good at. And it's just become a nightmare, especially for something that we need crucially to be able to capture content. But I think the Zulanzi, this is it. The Ulanzi leg with the small rig fluid head 
that's a great setup. It's super light, it's super compact, I can travel with this, the legs work great, I can go all the way down to the ground, it has some ports that I can mount some other stuff. Yeah, this is good. If you like this video, please make sure you smash that. Actually, you know what? I really hate, it gets on my nerves, I guess, when people say smash that like button because someone said it, made it popular, and suddenly everyone is saying it. Don't smash the like button because you're using your phone, you're using your tablet, you're using your computer. I don't want you to mess that stuff up. You don't want to crack it by smashing it. I'll tell you what, gingerly tap that like button. Also make sure to subscribe to our channel and click that notification bell so that we can inform you of when new videos come out. And if it moves you, support us on Patreon. It gives you access to all of our live streams, gives you access to videos earlier than everyone else, and it can be as little as $3 a month. It's not bad at all, and it supports this channel, allows us to create more content like this. And as always, don't forget to follow us on Instagram at Baptism Overland. My name is Asia Sampson, and I will see you next time. Uh, let me put this tripod head back because I need to shoot some B-roll. All right, you got one more job in helping me shoot this thing. Don't fail me.